Hey, the music changed. Yeah, this is Shark Bites. I also just noticed a thing that I don't... When you go into the ink, you leave this little uh, round bit. Oh. That's a heck of a detail. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. Welcome back to the diaphragm. <coughs> Looks like we got, what, data spikes? Maybe uh, those, yeah. Maybe those tests were preparing us for something. It'll be it unintentionally. That's fair, yeah. It's kind of a combination of, uh, the, the data point cube that you had, the, the big puzzle, and then, uh, all those stages where you had to use the rocket launcher to get around. Yeah. That's clever. I like how they're bringing it all together. I will admit that uh, these stages have made me realize a lot more about how the uh, the jetpack works. Yeah. Like, I remember using it in Salmon Run a couple of times and falling into the uh, enemy ink because, you know, it doesn't count as a solid surface to repel off of, so you have to hit the, the jump button. And I kept wondering why? <laughs> oh, yeah. But these stages did a pretty good job of, like, hammering home that grates and uh, liquids and stuff don't count for uh, the jetpack. That it actually does have to have hit a surface hit. and propel yeah. you off of it. Which is an awesome detail and makes logical sense. It's like one of those water-powered, you know, jetpacks that they've actually made. Oh, yeah. Except those work on water. Except those work on water, and uh, have to have like a water source hooked up to it, whereas yours seems to just be hooked up to you. <laughs> yeah, you this one just kind of goes. I can't imagine the ink consumption here. Yeah. I mean, this special usually only goes on for a little bit, but... I guess it's a... A life or death scenario, so your various ventricles are, are pumping right now. Okay. Oh. Huh. Alright, well, that's a thing. Big spinning puzzle. A spinning puzzle, I believe I have, I have failed. Well, I mean, you just have to spin some. <laughs> Worst case scenario. True. That said, given our history with puzzle episodes, this may be the <laughs> only uh, the only thing we beat this. Uh... Maybe. It is quite the towering structure. I am really curious to see, you know, like, what this building looks like from the outside. No kidding. Oh, good thing ink rails are two-way. Yeah. So, is that a zapfish being held in the middle, or...? Uh, just some kind of power core thingy. Ah. It's just very small and round, so it, it kind of looks like the... the zapfish is from the, uh... the regular game. Yeah. Oh, God! No, no. Try not to fall to your death while doing this. You're doing my best. Okay. That is an awkward jump, I just <laughs> want to say that. It's like... Isn't the best, no.
Okay. Where to next? Uh, definitely have some leaps of faith going on. <laughs> and the jetpack has real floaty controls. Well, you, you hit something. I guess there was a sw ink switch there. Oh. That's handy. I guess this data point was inside of that. Neat. Okay, so, and then we gotta go back uh, here, you think? Uh, I mean, there's a data point that way, so maybe? No, there's so a data I feel point like, over there. I feel like the Octoling character is a bit rounder in the uh, ink rail form. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to really see a side-by-side -side comparison, but I was just thinking you looked particularly round. That's fair. And I mean, your Octoling form, of course, or your your uh, Octo form is... Definitely you know, rounder. Definitely rounder. So, it would actually make a certain amount of sense. Compared to the more arrow-shaped squid design. Uh-oh. I made an error. I mean, as long as you have something below you, uh, you know, so don't fall any further, I guess. True. You can stay, mold you can stay airborne quite a long time with the jetpack, fortunately. does give you a bit of time to contemplate things and get yourself righted, which is good. Last will and testament in order, etc., etc. <laughs> oh. okay, You're so. actually making pretty good time on this, I think. Okay. And of course, as I say that, <laughs> we have a, a brush with death there. Yeah, well, you know. Just have to make things interesting. Interesting for the viewers. <laughs> what fun would be to watch somebody who knows what they're doing and can do this quickly. <laughs> Nobody would watch that. So, when I'm writing the description, should I just put in the link to the speedrun? <laughs> that would probably be fun. I mean... Uh... Oh, handy. Looks like I get to fight Octo Snipers. Oh, I thought those were more data points, but they are a different color, huh? And it does take two hits. Which is a little nerve wracking. Oh wow, they don't have guns that shoot up. <laughs> On the other hand, that guy seems to be invulnerable. There he goes. I think they had one of the little uh, shield things. Oh yeah. Alright. Well, that wasn't too bad. Hey, it is! Oh, yeah, that is some kind of zap thingy. It's at least of the same family, I think. Yeah. And there it goes. Okay. Shot out of there like a railgun. Yeah, it did. I suppose that's why all those thingies are holding it in place. Yeah. Now, yeah, let's follow the, follow the zap thingy and get to the captain and... The peristalsis phase? I feel like I need to Google that. I mean, only if we want to look like we know what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, so this is a... Oh, this is a protect the orb phase. Oh! Okay. 
also inking it seems to, you know, move you forward. Yeah. Uh, do you want to know what peristalsis is? Sure, what do we got? Uh, apparently it is the involuntary constriction and relaxation of the muscles of the intestine or other canal, which creates wave-like movements that push the contents of the canal forward. Oh. Well, that would be why I'm on rails. And why it goes backwards when you don't hit it for a bit. It's the contraction back and forth. Okay. That's clever. Look at you, Nintendo, being all clever. I like to think that somebody was a fan of the, like, magic school bus in the body, or, uh... No kidding. Any of that, like, super fun edutainment programming, and wanted a chance to incorporate some of that into super fun video game time. And you know what? I'm all for that. I mean, we both just learned a new word and uh, gained a greater appreciation of the design of the level. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know where, like, the missile launchers are in my particular uh, digestive system, but uh, I'll take their word for it. Keep going. So, I can't help but notice that unlike the other Protect the Orb uh, levels we've seen, uh, I don't think you're able to heal. No, well, no, wait, there oh, it goes. It, it, checkpoint. You hit, you hit a checkpoint. Whew. But, like, the uh, the other Protect the Orb levels, you could shoot Oh yeah, there, with there ink. was no checkpoint. There wasn't any checkpoint, but you were able to use ink to uh, heal. Where in this one, it just moves you along, so... Slightly different mechanic, I guess. No stop. No stop. I'm just gonna assume those scrubber things are probably just... Insta. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably not great. I'm gonna assume they do the same thing to that they do to you. No! No! Not a good time <laughs> for uh, Octobombers to start showing up. As you do. Oh, that's oh. it. No, no. Oh, bad. <laughs> and an Octobomber, just to make things interesting. Okay, that was close. I saw okay. one of those, I saw one of those whistles, <laughs> like, brushed by and kiss that on its way by. I'll take it. Better to be lucky than good. Oh, lasers. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, okay. these guys. That's right. much worse. Kind of a neat return of those bowling balls. I didn't expect to yeah. see those again. No kidding. I always sort of associated those with the fun times. Uh, rather than, like, the end times. Hey, alright. That was a good time for an ink refill. Hey, we made it. That wasn't too bad. Hey, look, we're powering something. I'm sure that's not a problem. I like that it's a giant laptop plug. <laughs> oh, yeah, just big ol' three plong. Yep. Okay, so why did we install an energy core into a thing? Well, it probably, well, powers, can't be good, it probably right? powers the next jump pad or elevator or what have you. I mean, that's probably not all it powers, mind you, but. Uh, yeah, none of this. This is an evil power plant, right? I'm not I mean, the only one that sees this, that's right? That's definitely what it looks like. All right. You are in an enemy base, though, so I, I imagine that kind of makes sense. Well, next time on endless mode, we're gonna go. Yeah.